Jan, Job Accommodation Network, Practical Solutions, Workplace Success, 800-526-7234. For voice, 877-781-9403 for TTY. AskJan.org. Promotion to Manager for Individual Who is Deaf. Jackson, a manufacturing engineer and strong contributor at Morrison Sons, applied for a promotion after Gene, the director of engineering and mentor, encouraged him. Gene's VP, Larry, has not had the opportunity to get to know Jackson and expresses concern about whether a person who is deaf could be an effective manager. Larry is also concerned about the timing of this with the busy holiday season starting. Larry is finishing up a conversation on the phone. Gene sits across from Larry in his office. Well, with our busy season coming up, we did ramp up that contract hiring, George. Mm hmm Okay. Well, good. I'm counting on you, bud. Oh. Tis the season, huh? Hmm. Well, Gene, I know we both have one o'clock meetings, so I'll get right to the point. George tells me you might be promoting that deaf guy on your team to manager. How is that going to work? Well, his name is Jackson, and he's smart as a whip and a great leader. He's one of my best and most independent problem solvers, and he's great at mentoring and motivating people. Well, how the heck is he going to hold team meetings or deliver performance reviews or solve complex issues that require communicating? I mean, he's deaf. Larry, the only thing that Jackson can't do well is here, and that's never gotten in the way of his success here. There's lots of different tools and resources he uses to effectively communicate. He's been with us for nine years since he was an intern. He is a top performer and has helped me understand what he needs, situationally. Situationally. What does that mean? Well, um, sometimes he brings in a sign language interpreter for important or large group meetings. Other times he uses video phones, texting. It just depends on what works best at the time. Hmm. Well, what about safety? I mean, how's he going to know if there's an equipment malfunction if he can't hear the alarms or keep from getting run over by a forklift driver? We have figured out all those kinds of situations a very long time ago. The warning and evacuation systems include flashing lights, and our teams know to always give a heads up visually when something is wrong. By the way, we have people driving forklifts and operating expensive machinery who are deaf too. We have deaf people doing those jobs? Yes. We have people with a broad range of diverse abilities doing all kinds of jobs. As you know, in this crazy world, safety first means that we always have to have more than one way of making sure that people are paying attention when there's a risk. Diverse abilities. I had not heard that term before. Okay, point well taken, but how much is this going to cost? I mean, we have to pay for interpreters. Won't we need a lot more of their time if he's a manager? Will there be any other investments we have to make? I expect there'll be some additional costs, but honestly, Larry, I don't see how this is any different than other productivity tools that we purchase, like the new barcode scanners Yosef and his team needed to accelerate inventory turns. Well, I suppose so. You and I both know how hard it is to find engineers who are great people managers and also have mastered their trade. Jackson's a total package. He already has the assistive communications devices that he needs. Well, Gene, you're a great judge of talent. You know I've always said that. If you want to give this a shot, go ahead. But keep me posted as to how it goes. You got it, boss. Jackson arrives, exits his car, and enters the building. Gene and Jackson walk into the lobby together. They find a quiet corner and sit down. The interpreter is seated next to Gene and across from Jackson. Gene hands Jackson a piece of paper that he reads to himself. Wow, I got the job. This is great news. I can't wait to tell Alan. I know you're going to do a terrific job in this role, Jackson. I hope Alan will be as thrilled. Gene signs thrilled. <laughs> you know managers, they work a lot longer hours than you've been used to, especially during the holiday season. Yes, I've been thinking about that and all the ways that we can ramp up for the big push. Ellen, she really supports my career, as mm -hmm. I do hers. And we are both excited about this opportunity. We live in a strong community of young families. We help each other out with childcare, carpools, and mm. volunteering at the school. That is great. You and Ellen are so lucky. 
uh, when my kids were young, it was a real struggle to try to juggle it all. Ah, yes. I will probably need to reduce my time a little the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Ellen doing more of the carpool duty, and I may even reduce some of my time working coaching Little League, but I think we got this. Jackson, I feel like I need to be honest with you. Larry was initially a little concerned about how this would work with your team. I reassured him, but I want to make sure that we think this through. I doubled the budget for interpreting, and I want you to let me know, especially during the onboard process with your new team, if you need more interpreting hours or any other resources. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. Interpreting, especially early on, is a good idea. I also want my team members to let me know when they would like to have an interpreter present. But for quick and spontaneous conversations, we can use remote interpreting, captioning, texting, and... Larry and Jean are in a hallway glancing towards a large conference room across the hall where Jackson is leading a meeting with his team. A sign language interpreter is near Jackson. There is food on the table and everyone is clearly enjoying the recognition and camaraderie. Well, go ahead and say it, Gene. You were right. <laughs> Jackson's doing a great job as a manager and I should have trusted you and Jackson from the get-go. Thank you, Larry. You are a little bit of a worrywart, but I appreciate you backing me up. Jackson has a lot of potential and now he has the opportunity to show some of his broader talents, not just as a capable engineer, but also as a leader. Gene signs leader, interior conference Jenna, room. thank you for your quick thinking and your hard work. You've really brought those numbers up. So I decided that you should treat yourself and get yourself a manicure. <laughs> Jenna signs, thank, thank you, you boss. boss. You're welcome. Raul, I want to say thank you for your quick thinking, too. When you saw the machine's belt break, you really came up with a plan to fix it, so I was impressed with that. Thank you, thank you. I know you love golfing. And I want to send you to your favorite store, sports store, and you can get yourself a new putter. Awesome. <laughs> Raul makes golf swing. It looks like, wait. They're all signing? <laughs> it's not that hard to learn a few signs, Larry. Jackson's good at teaching that, too. Well, next thing you know, Jackson will be vying for your job. <laughs> yeah, he probably will do just that. So I suggest that you start sponsoring and mentoring him now. It's not that hard to learn a few signs. All right, what's the sign for, can I take you to lunch? Larry incorrectly signs. <laughs> All right, okay, I will definitely need an interpreter. You are very expressive, Larry. And Jackson's helped me to understand that a lot of how we naturally communicate is nonverbal. So when you bump into Jackson, don't hesitate to talk without the interpreter. I promise, you will get the hang of it. And look, Jackson is a patient and creative teacher. One of these days, Jackson will be running this place and we'll all be signing as a second language. In producing these videos, we were committed to recruiting talent that appropriately reflects the diversity of the U.S. Thus, both actors with and without disabilities were featured in these videos. Special thanks to Deb Daggett, Diversity.com, NoBarriersMedia.com, Joseph Santini, Kylie Baker, Robert Siebert, Ryan Hutchison, ZSD.org, and John Mako ntid.rit.edu for their valuable contributions to the production of this video. This video was developed and produced by the Job Accommodation Network, JAN. JAN is funded by a contract with the Office of Disability Employment Policy, U.S. Department of Labor, contract number 1605DC17C0038. This video does not necessarily reflect the views or policies of the Office of Disability Employment Policy nor does mention of trade names, commercial products, or organizations imply endorsement by the U.S. Department of Labor.